Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rosa. Welcome. I make beauty videos um, targeted to light olive skin and I have some vlogs. Another first time mommy content on Thursdays at 8 a.m. Pacific time. If that sounds interesting to you, then of course subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notification so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how to color drape, how to figure out if you are cool or warm in the sense of your skin undertone. Disclaimer, I I am not an expert, I am not a color analyst or fashion blogger or any of that. I am actually learning as well, but whatever knowledge I can get, I am happy to share with you and guide you in the right direction so that you are able to choose the right colors for your makeup, for your wardrobe, etc. So if that sounds interesting to you, then of course keep on watching. So I've taken quite a lot of time searching into olive undertones and I feel like people are still trying to figure it out. It's like the wild wild west. There's nothing that is set on stone on any on any information that we'll give you. A lot of this information are based on people on other people's color theories. So I specifically follow a channel on YouTube that is called Miriam Style and she has very good content explaining olive undertones. She really does give out a, a lot of examples what a cool olive is and what a warm olive is and also all other kinds of um, undertones. But of course my channel is centered mostly to help out light olive skin. I have a little bit of knowledge when it comes to graphic design so I am very familiar with like Photoshop and there is a free website called Photopea. So with that I will show you how you can do color draping on yourself. Obviously the best way to do this might be by doing it in front of natural light um, and having somebody knowledgeable doing this, the color draping for you, but there might be some barriers nowadays. Number one, you might not know who to go to to help you out. Number two, you might not have the budget for it. And number three, if you wanna do color draping on yourself, you might not have all the colors available in your wardrobe, which was the case for me. So what I did is simply took a picture of myself and really good lighting and I was able to compare all these colors online and color drape myself. So as I said earlier, I follow Miriam Style, so I did download her guide and it's called The Warm and Delicate. I wish it would come out with more in-depth guides about the other undertones, but this one still has a lot of information. Now I will obviously will not give you all the information that's on this guide because it's a lot of information and two that would not be fair for her because you do have to purchase this yourself i can at least share with you the color wheels that are included in here and help you out on that so i'm going to switch over to my computer and show you how i do this process here is what photopea looks like you just go to photopea.com and it's totally free so the first thing you're gonna do is click on file and click on new and this thing will open now there's like presets here as to like what size you want to work with. I would just suggest you follow the same thing I do here. So for the width, you put 1920 and for the height, 1080. And then for the background, you put it, you leave it as white and then you click on create. So this is what it's gonna open. So the next thing that you wanna do is take a really good picture. What I mean by that is Make sure that you do this in daylight. Try to stand in front of your window where you can get plenty of natural light. And I would suggest you take a picture without any shirt on. You can keep your bra on or just go strapless. You just want to focus on going above around your chest area where your collarbone is and your shoulders and up. The reason why I say this is because um, if you have acne, rosacea or any other discoloration going on in your face you don't want those things to be distracting from your actual true color which would be you know your your neck but of course you want to be able to look at your face once you have that done make sure that you save it to your computer and then click on file open in place and here i have the picture that i that i will be working with you just check mark on it and open and here it is as you can see here, you have these like little squares around. You're able to drag the picture and like make it bigger or smaller. So once you have the good size, then you click on confirm and there it is. So if you ever need to adjust that, you can go to move tool. Make sure that transform controls 
has a check mark so that you're able to move it around and um, do what you need to do. After that, you want to be able to open and place and insert all the color charts that I will be showing you. You're more than welcome to pause the video when you need to and take a screenshot of all the colors that I will be showing you so that you can save them and work with these colors as well. So here I'm just um, clicking on everything and then open and all of them will be inserted. And as you can see, everything is separated by layers. This little eye icon here uh, means that you make something visible or invisible. And anything that's on the very top will be visible on top of um, whatever's underneath. So here's the, this layer. I'm gonna be moving over, over to this side and then, and do the same with the rest. You want to be able to click and highlight the layer that you want to work with. So don't forget to do that. I do apologize in advance if you can hear my daughter in the background. So I'm doing my best to go through this video very quickly and just be straightforward with this. Okay, so here are your different colors your cool and delicate, your cool and radiant, your neutrals. I'm gonna actually get this one a little bigger. Confirm. Your semi-bright, your warm delicate, and your warm and radiant. Now, you don't have to use these colors if you don't want to. If you have other color wheel that you want to use, by all means, just make sure that you are you have a warm color, you, that you have a warm color scheme and a cool um, color scheme. And basically, what you want to do first is figure out if you are warm or cool. Now, I took notes and according to Miriam Style here on YouTube, she suggests that you compare a cool color such as royal blue. So it's not in warm and radiant, so I'm gonna click on the eye. It's not here, it's not here. Let me skip on the neutrals. And here's cool and radiant. What you're gonna do first is click on this rectangle, select, and then you're gonna draw a pretty much a rectangle, rectangle right below your right around your shoulders and below as if you were wearing a t-shirt just make sure that obviously your face is not covered and some of your neck can be seen as well and then you're going to click on this here that says paint bucket tool now when you go to a photo p the first time you might not see this it might be this one here gradient tool so in order for you to switch it you just need to click on this corner click and hold and then click on the paint bucket tool so you have that and then finally you want to be able to make two layers and I'll explain why you'll go on layer new layer and name that layer cool and then you go once again layer new layer and then you click on warm you want to highlight the correct layer so that you can put all your cool colors in this one. So when you make your rectangle, it's not going to go anywhere unless you click on the unless you click on the rectangle select again where if you click on it, if you have this one here and you click anywhere else, it's going to disappear. So just make your make your rectangle and leave it alone. And then just you're gonna be going back and forth between this tool here that's called the eyedropper and the and the paint bucket. So the eyedropper, you're gonna go over and click on a navy, like a navy blue. So like this one. And then click on your paint bucket and you're gonna click inside the rectangle here. Okay, you have your cool your cool color here. Now you click on the warm layer and you're gonna pick a warm a warm color. I would suggest you go to the warm and radiant palette. As you can see, I'm clicking on the eye so it's visible. And say I'm going to pick 
like an orange color. So go over to the eyedropper, click the orange, and then click the, the paint bucket, and then you click over to the rectangle, and you fill the color up. So now as you can see, you have two layers here. You have warm and cool. So now you can start comparing these two. And the idea is to look at the color, for example, cool, this navy blue, and you look at your, at your whole picture and tell me, where are your eyes drawn to? Is it drawn to the color itself or is it, or are your eyes drawn to your face? For example, in this situation, I'm looking at this blue. I feel like this blue is a little overpowering, a little too much for my delicate complexion. And I feel like this blue color kind of looks separated from my skin. Now let's try with the orange. What do you see? To me, it feels like the orange is more in harmony within the overall look. It doesn't look as separate. And it just looks like overall a little bit more blended into my skin, right? Let's try another example. So in the warm, let's try, uh, I don't know, this green. Okay, here's a green. And then here's a blue. Which one looks better? Of course, it's gonna take some time to train your eye um, and figuring out, you know, the colors. Um, as you as you may or may not know, um, we can see colors a little bit different too sometimes, and um, so that can play in part as well. So let's say I pick a a pink, this one, or like this lilac color. cool and there it is so now I compare these two which one looks better on me I feel like the green pulls a, a lot better than this one now let's compare two similar colors so in the cool and radiant I'm gonna pick this light little like pink here okay so there it is this one right here and now let me go into the warm palette and picking out a similar color also like this pink go to the bucket and there it is all right so you have warm and cool a cool pink and a warm pink which one looks better i personally feel like the warm peachy pink fits better it kind of makes my my face a little brighter and the colors together just look more in harmony versus the uh, cool pink so in these examples i would assume that i am leaning more towards uh, warm if you figure out that you if you're leaning towards the cool then of course you can move on and figure out if you if radiant colors fit better on your skin or delicate colors more like muted colors and just do a comparison try to compare in the same like range of colors so for me, I'm gonna try warm, radiant, and semi-bright, warm, and delicate. Um, it's up to you if you want to make another layer for that or just change it. Since I know I'm not gonna be using the cool, I'm gonna change it to warm, delicate. And this one, warm, radiant. Let's pick a color from warm and radiant, which will go here. Let's go with this red fill the bucket and use the bucket to fill the color and then semi bright warm I'm gonna also focus on this one here and go to the right layer and pick that color so now you have two colors they're both warm they're both red but one is radiant and one is muted which one do you feel looks better on me I personally feel like this bright red is too overpowering for my skin it's just too bright but if i was to go with a little mu more muted color it almost feels like it goes well with the rest of my colors it could even look like an eyeshadow you know the i can start to imagine the, the lips the eyeshadow maybe a little bit of that blush and so that's pretty much what you do and you just take practice of course and you'll figure it out I am actually more of the warm and delicate so let me show you I'm gonna pick this like the same spot where the red and the other 
red has been. It's like in the middle area, halfway through this palette. There it is. So now you can see here's this red and then there's this one here. Which one looks better? So that's how you can do it for yourself. Um, just make sure you have very good lighting, no makeup on, and if you can, like, no t-shirt on, and just try it for yourself and see how it goes. I hope that you find this helpful. If you did find this helpful, please give it a like. It will really help me out on my channel. And don't forget to share this video uh, to people that might benefit from this information as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye!